Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm making three projects using TechRop Vinyl. You might have already heard of them. They're pretty popular, but they sent over some vinyl to me and I can't wait to share it with you. I've been using their vinyl for a few years now and it's just so beautiful and the quality is really great. They have a bubble-free chrome vinyl that I'm super excited to try out. I recently made a video on a Libby glass can and the vinyl had lots of bubbles on it so I can't wait to test this out for you. The vinyl on the screen right here is the chrome bubble-free vinyl. I'm also going to be making a bookmark using this fun brushed glitter vinyl and my last project is a Christmas ornament using this pink vinyl. All the links for the vinyl will be in my description box and let's get into the video. Here is the design I'm using for the Libby glass can. I downloaded this from Etsy so I will leave the link for the Etsy shop and for the SVG down in my description box. I'm just going to slide this apart so you can see how it's going to cut out. This darker pink is going to be the chrome bubble free vinyl and this is just going to be the regular vinyl on top. I also changed the colors in here. I made this a lighter pink and this a more coral darker pink and I thought that would be fun to do something just not as traditional and go with pink since it's my favorite color. So we'll see how that looks. I'm just going to leave it the size that the Etsy shop has it at and I'm going to click make it. This first one is chrome vinyl, so I'm actually going to try holographic vinyl for my cut setting. Once it's done cutting this out and switches to this, I will choose vinyl for that one. This vinyl has a clear protective sheet over it, so you'll want to make sure to remove it before you cut out your design. I usually put my whole roll on the Cricut mat, but because of this sheet, I decided to cut it down to the size of my design. I placed my vinyl on my Cricut mat and I use my brayer tool over it just because I like to make sure it's laying nice and flat and smooth. Then I load it into the Cricut machine and it'll cut out the design. The holographic setting worked well for this, but you might need to do some test cuts just to see what works with your machine. Next, the Cricut will cut out the pink vinyl. This one also has a protective sheet over it, so I just cut this down and remove that sheet before I load it into the Cricut machine. Once that's done, I'm ready to weed out my vinyl, and this weeded really well. I forgot to mention this color vinyl is begonia rose and the pink vinyl is called piggy pink I believe. I'll make sure to link these down in the description box so you know which ones are which. I lost one piece of my vinyl but thankfully I was able to save it and I used some tweezers to add it back to the backing. I also love using a pen pen tool to weed. I don't think I'll ever go back to the regular hook Cricut weeding tool because it just works so well. I decided to add each piece of my vinyl separately instead of trying to line up the whole thing at once. I just felt like it would be way less stress on me to do it this way. I remove my transfer paper and place it down on the candy cane design. Then I squeegee it down really well and pick up the vinyl onto the transfer paper. I'm using the parchment paper method to line this up. So I place the sticky side down onto the parchment paper, but I leave a little bit of the vinyl exposed on the top. I place the parchment paper down on the candy cane. I make sure that it's totally lined up where I want it. Then I press that top of the sticky part down. Then I am able to remove my parchment paper and press my vinyl down. Then I remove the transfer paper and you can see that it is all lined up this way. I finished off some more of the candy canes and here I am adding the Merry Christmas the exact same way with the parchment paper method. Thank you. 
Once that's done, I add transfer paper to the entire design. Then I burnish it down and remove the backing of the transfer paper and I'm ready to add it to my Libby glass. I taped two of those cardboard rolls that come in the vinyl and that worked perfectly to set my glass on. Then I place my vinyl down. I start in the center and then work my way out. On the left side, it laid down pretty well, but on the right side, it wasn't laying down as well. So I took some scissors and cut a little bit of the transfer paper and that always helps. Then I remove my transfer paper. I like to do this slowly just to make sure that the vinyl doesn't pick back up. Here's how it turned out. This vinyl is so pretty. I also love the design. And as you can see, there are no bubbles. So that worked really well. I decided to have the chrome vinyl on the bottom because that's the bubble free vinyl. Here's a close up of it and it just looks perfect and nice and smooth on the glass. The first thing I'm going to do for my bookmark is go over to my uploads and bring this bookmark template into the canvas. The website that I bought the bookmarks from, she has a free download for a template, which is really nice. It makes it a lot easier to go in and design. I don't need two of these though, so I am going to hit ungroup and I am going to delete this black one. I noticed the template size is a little off from the actual size of the bookmark. So I'm going to come in here and make it that size. So it is 1.3 inches for the width and the height is 5.5. Now I'm just going to hit shift on my keyboard and I'm going to rotate it this way just because it'll be easier to see it. Now I'm going to click on my text. I already have my font uploaded. It's De Augusta. I downloaded this from Creative Fabrica. I can leave a link for it in the description box. It's a really cute font. And I'm going to type in my name. Just going to bring it over here and I'm going to size it inside the bookmark. I'm using the glitter brushed vinyl and I wanted to add something to the sides of my name and I thought some stars would be really cute to go along with it. So I'm going to click on images and I'm just going to type in stars. I'm going to select that one and hit add to canvas. I'm going to unite these together since they are three different layers and I'm going to have everything be the same color. I'm just going to size this inside the bookmark. And then I'm going to come up here and hit duplicate and I'm going to bring it over onto this side. I may make it just a little bit smaller on this side. I'm using the same vinyl for this, so I'm going to make these all the same color. I'm not going to attach these. I think I want to place them each separately onto the bookmark. I'm going to come over to my bookmark template and hide it. And now I'm going to click on make it. This glitter brushed vinyl is pretty thick. So the setting that worked for me was actually the infusible ink transfer sheet. I place the vinyl face up on my mat and once again, I like to use my brayer tool. This just presses it down really well onto the mat. When it's done, I cut around the design and weed out my vinyl. The infusible ink transfer sheet setting worked so well for this vinyl. I'm going to add all of these separately. You can definitely add it all together. I honestly think it would have been easier, but I add my transfer tape to my name and then I just press it down well with my squeegee. Here's the bookmarks that I'm using. I found them on a shop online and I can leave her shop down below in the description box. She sells a ton of really fun acrylic blanks. There's a protective sheet over both sides, so I remove those. Then I spray the acrylic with a rubbing alcohol just to make sure that it's nice and clean before I add my vinyl. 
Now I'm ready to add my vinyl. I removed the backing. This is always the easiest way for your vinyl to stick down onto the transfer paper. Once that's done, I line it up on the bookmark, place it down, and remove the transfer paper. For the stars, I decided just to use my tweezers to add them individually, and I felt like that worked out really well. I bought chiffon ribbon from Amazon. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but it's just really pretty and I think it looks so neat on the bookmark. I'm also going to be adding it onto my ornament as well. You want to make the ribbon somewhat long, then I cut it off and I thread it through the top of the bookmark. You can use tweezers if you want to for this as well. I make sure it's lined up evenly and then I just tie a knot in the ribbon. Here's how the bookmark turned out. I just think it looks so pretty. These would make great gifts, especially for Christmas. If you have kids that are a little bit older, they would be fantastic stocking stuffers. You can also add paint to the back of the acrylic to add a little bit more to it. Now let's just get into the last project, which is an acrylic ornament. Next, I'm going to be making an ornament. I'm going to grab a circle to create a guide and I wanna make it the size of my ornament. My ornament is three and a half inches. Then I'll come up here and switch this to guide. Now I'm going to add my text. For my first font, it's going to be Hello Honey. This one is a really pretty script font. I'm gonna type in my daughter's name since it's her first Christmas. And I'll type in Emerson's first Christmas. I'm going to bring the line spacing down because I don't like how far apart it is. I'm going to bring it over here and I'm just going to size this inside my guide. I'm also going to write the year and I'm going to change the font to, I think it's champagne. And I'm just going to type in 2022. I want to make sure that these are lined up, so I'm going to select this one. I'll hit shift on my keyboard and select the year. Then I'm going to come up to my align tool and select center horizontally. And you can barely tell I had it lined up really well, so it moved just a little bit. I want these to be attached, so I have both layers selected and I'll come down here and select attach. Okay, I think that looks good. Now I can click make it. I am going to select washi sheet for my setting and I'm going to come down here and select less for the pressure because this is a pretty intricate font and it's pretty tiny. Here's the acrylic ornaments I'm using. I bought these off of Amazon and they are just the perfect size. I remove the protective cover from one side and then after I paint I'll remove the other side. I'm using apple barrel paint. I actually didn't love the pink color, so what I ended up doing was mixed pink and white paint together. I forgot to film it, but that is one of my favorite tricks if you don't like the pink color or want something a little different. I also just love the apple barrel acrylic paint. It's from Walmart. It's super cheap and works so well. Also, I love these paint brushes from Michaels. They are just great as well. And here you can see me just painting one side of the acrylic. You can paint these however you like. I like to leave a little space on the top and the bottom. Here's the vinyl I'm using. I chose one of the darker pinks called Ultra Pink. This has a protective sheet on it as well, so I remove that and it kind of changes the color of it. But then I add it to the mat and I load it into my Cricut machine and it'll cut out the design. I forgot to film me weeding this, so I added a clip from my phone that I'm using for a reel or TikTok. And look how well this is weeding. The washi sheet setting worked so perfectly. I decided to add a second coat of paint. Once I'm done with that, I let it dry and then it'll be ready to add vinyl on the other side. 
Now I'm ready to add my vinyl. I remove the protective sheet from the other side. Then I add my transfer tape to the vinyl and line it up on the ornament. I press it down, then remove the transfer tape. Off camera, I went in and fixed her name since I spelled it wrong. I was typing way too fast and I didn't check it. So I fixed that and now I'm adding some Mod Podge to the back on top of the paint. I just like to do this because I don't want the paint to chip. Then I add my ribbon. I cut off about the same size piece as the bookmark and I thread it through the ornament. Then I just tie it towards the top. Here's how it turned out. It's a little blurry from my camera. For some reason, it would not focus, but I just love adding paint and vinyl to acrylic. It's just so fun. And here is another look at the other two projects. I'll put some links down below for the Tech Rep vinyl. This chrome bubble free vinyl is absolutely amazing. I highly recommend it after working with it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. I would love it if you subscribed if you are new to my channel and have a great day.